right. So I saw this pop up in an interview last week. We didn't get to it last week, but uh, mixed by Ali, who is an uh, engineer who's worked uh, most notably with TD, Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar and all that. Um, he recently went on the Uninterrupted podcast. And uh, this is a clip where he talks about the uh, West Coast unity that happened after the Kendrick and Drake thing. Um, we can watch this video and then kind of discuss. I think what that did when they talk about collaboration, I think LA and just the West has suffered in the sense of not having that collaboration mm -hmm. because of the hood politics, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like that door has been now kicked wide open. You know, sometimes you gotta do bad to do good, right? And you know, some bad had to happen. In the sense of just the music and the culture coming together for, for you know, uh, for the celebration of, of, of a big win, that was needed to know that, yo, like we can come together and celebrate. We can come together, make music and, and be on the same stages and be at the same venues without nothing going it look easy and it looked boy what, 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 what it was not and even what i've been seeing like my brother dj hey we talk about it all the time man and it's been so stagnant out here nobody wanted to come and be that like that figure to speak for us right and who else to do that but hey right he bleeds mm -hmm. any thoughts on that i think um this is the crazy thing because you know la politics as far as what happens in the streets if you will has probably affected more industry things than you possibly could ever imagine but you know the crazy thing is when we think about death row in that time yeah you know their biggest star was a crip but they were on a blood but he was on a blood label if you will that's what suge repped he repped the other side true you know so there were some people who were able to, there's been a history of people putting politics aside nipsey and uh yg doing records together yeah you know um but you know there's always seems to be something that happens where there's a a rift reopens and it kind of hurts the overall growth and the progression of things that happen on the West Coast. So, you know, hopefully this is the sort of thing that it was like, okay, we see how strong we are together. Right. You know, and plus, you know, it's a situation where like, I don't, I'll just be honest. I don't particularly understand the motivation gang banging. Maybe it's not for me to understand, especially on the West Coast, because that's a whole nother world, you know, because in my mind, I'm like, well, you know, where's the money in all this? Yeah. Um, at least when you talk about you know, the mafia or the so-called mafia, uh, at least there was a money motivation to all this, you know? And so I, maybe there, maybe if, if these brothers on the West coast see, Hey, maybe we can get some money together. If we stop fighting each other over land, we don't own, uh, oh, they're getting but, money. I mean, they, yeah, yeah. They, they, but you know, what's the point you get money and then you stay in the same place. You know, that's, that's the thing I don't quite understand, you know, but then the same time, <sighs> You know, the sad, the saddest thing about Nipsey is he got killed by somebody in his own gang in his own neighborhood. Yeah. You know, once again, there was some politics that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to speak on it because it's not my place. But I just hope that, you know, what we saw on stage at that concert in was the forum, I believe. The pop out. Yeah. yeah the pop like the out. That, you yep. know, maybe that is a spirit that can be carried on. And it'd be like, hey, let's, you know, because once the West Coast comes out and really gets to swinging, yeah. it's hard to beat them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the biggest stars right now reside in L.A. And there's really no question about that. But um, it took somebody like Kendrick, who is pretty much he's he's not claiming one side. I know he grew up in a blood neighborhood, I believe, but he's right there in the middle. He He's a he's somebody that that people can on every side can pretty much relate to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's good. He was able to do that, although it probably was a lot of pulling the strings back and forth behind the scenes it, it came off good it looked good and uh was a good representation of la Def definitely felt uh authentic when i wa when watched it you know i know he was talking about how you know what the head was talking about you know just how hard that is to kind of get to pull that off but it seemed like everybody was having a good time and it felt authentic it didn't feel you know rushed or forced or pushed and everybody was just having a good time enjoying it so to y'all points everybody's point um, I just hope it continues because I thought it was a dope look, you know, seemed authentic, seemed real. And Kendrick definitely is a person that can be, um, he just seems respected overall. Like he's, he's the neutral. kid. Yeah. He's like, he's the kid that everybody was like, just leave him alone. Cause he, he he's going to make it. That's just the way it feels. So it's, it's kind of like how they're in certain situations. Like the gangbangers won't even bother you because like, no, he's going to school. Yeah. He plays yeah. like Richard Sherman who is from Compton. Yep. And like when he would try to try to hang out, they'd be like, no, we know your mother and father. You, 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 you carry your ass to school. You can't hang around us, you know? And so there is a certain level of code code that you have, you know, sometimes when you see a, a kid and he's doing something like, I know it's, it's the same way 
uh, in Chicago that you don't mess with the kids oh, who are man. playing ball. Yeah, Lupe talked about it in our segment last week. Last week, yeah. yep, he mentioned that. Um, so you know, that's that's the thing. I just hope we there's a there's a spirit of community that continues on, not only artistically but just in the community and us, you know, putting the foolishness aside so we can go ahead and, and nurture the talent that we have. Yeah, yeah. I'm with it.